Once upon a time in the land before time, dinosaurs roamed the earth. Then something happened. Humans came into power. The wrathful politics and cars. You guys, was it really that bad of a presentation? I mean, your faces are kind of sad. Yeah, I don't know. Like, do you think it'd be bad to use it for a natural science presentation? I mean, what? Dinosaurs, then cars? Dinosaurs, then cars? Look, it's a three minute video. How am I supposed to explain the whole process of evolution? You're missing the point anyway. So do you mean like energy consumption? Yes, what I want to get at is the effect of transportation and the human impact on the earth and how it's detrimental to the environment. What my presentation is getting at is how we abuse the environment to transport ourselves everywhere. By ca with cars and trucks, the, the United States citizens use more oil than the U.S. industry produces in a year. So where do we get more of it? Well, that's quite political now with the war in Iraq, but we usually get oil from abroad, Canada, and other places, but it's just causing a problem because that's causing less oil to be in other places and drying up the world's resources. Soon there's not going to be enough and we're going to have to find more places and learn to weed ourselves off this cost again. So what about land consumption? They're building more highways and there's more urban sprawl and people are still commuting into the cities so there's more congestion. Even in cities like Boston there's not a lot of green spaces and there's more and more concrete. That's another effect. We could also put that in our presentation. Yeah. It'd be amazing because it's totally true. Urban sprawl also leads to habitat fragmentation, which can be bad for the evolutionary process. You know what else it ends in pollution? What? Pollution. Wow. Now, chemical gases and particles, which are released by cars and trucks, eventually end up on the street surfaces of the land. Uh, vehicles often leak gas, oil, brake fluid, coolant, and car, car tires leave residue of zinc and other pollutants. Now, all these pollutants are, end up in s sewers and eventually pollute the lakes and rivers without filtration. The greenhouse effect is the rise in temperature that the earth experiences because water vapor, carbon dioxide, nitrous oxide, and methane in the atmosphere trap energy from the sun. The greenhouse effect is important. Without the greenhouse effect, the earth would not be warm enough for humans to live. But if the greenhouse effect becomes stronger, it could make the earth warmer than usual. Even a little extra warming may cause problems for humans, plants, and animals. With increasing CO2 emissions, the greenhouse effect has been drastically exaggerated. This has caused a serious global warming process that is threatening our current environment. It is melting our polar ice caps and raising sea levels around that the globe. That was great, you guys. We should include all of this in our presentation to make it better and more clear than my old one. I agree. Wake me up when we fix the world's problems.